Hello friends, are you getting tired in writing and debugging the code in Eclipse using Java and you are really looking for some smart way of uh, writing and debugging the code. In this video, I am going to show you some simple commonly used key Eclipse shortcuts which can make your uh, coding life very easy. So please watch this video till the end at the end as a bonus i'm going to show you some interesting tips related to the java docs which will help you to build the java docs in a more professional way so let's get started everything i'm going to show you with a live coding on the eclipse so uh, let me start the eclipse so uh, let's we will start with the first shortcut the first shortcut is the control o so this is very useful uh, if you have a one big Java file which has a lot of uh, methods and you want to locate to a particular method, it's very simple. You have to just press Control O. It's going to give you the uh, list of all classes as well as inside the each class how many number of methods are available. So in this particular uh, class, I have uh, only uh, one or two methods available. So you really won't find this so useful. But uh, the, let's take the example of this one. In this particular class, I have a person class which has got these uh, multiple methods the getter setter and if I want to locate it to a particular one it's easy for me so you will usually find this particular shortcut useful if you have a bigger file so let's move on to the second one is the control uh, control f4 that it is used to close the file very simple so I will press the uh, control f4 this will close the file and if you want to close all of them whatever number of files are open so you can press control shift f4 so this will close all the files so we have covered the third one that is the control shift w or you can press f4 both are equivalent so and next one is the control t which is used to go to a particular line if you know the particular line number and you want to jump directly onto that line number you can use the control l so i have this op file open with me i will press the control l and suppose i want to go to the line number 80 so this will jump to the line number 80 very very simple super simple next is the control shift r which is used to find the particular resource so if you want to locate a particular resource you have to press the control shift r say for example you have a big project and you know of one particular file name you want to locate it so you can press the control shift R. So I just press that control shift R say suppose I want to uh, move to a particular class which, and whose name I know is the say split array. So split array example. So it will jump to that particular class. So the uh, mind, mind project is very simple one. So I'm just showing it for demonstration purpose. So if you really work on some practical projects uh, where you will be find a thousands of files and locating on those uh, particular file is very tough. So you can use this particular shortcut that is the control shift R. This is very commonly used. Next is the control shift F. Uh, everybody knows that it is used for the uh, formatting say if the code if you had manipulated the code a lot so as you can see here so suppose this dot messed up a lot and you want to format it so you just hold the control shift f so it will get uh, nicely formatted automatically then our next shortcut is the control a slash which is used to comment as well as uncomment a particular line so you have to just move to that particular line and press control uh, slash so it will comment the particular line and if you want to uh, uh, uncomment it, it's very simple just press the same key again control slash if you want to 
uh, comment the particular block you have to select that particular complete block and then hold down control shift and press slash so this will uh, uncomment the particular block so if you want to uncomment it you have to press control slash control shift backslash not the same key i had not written here it is slash is for the command and backslash is for the uncomment and next shortcut is the control shift l control shift l which will give you the list of all these shortcuts so if you don't remember the particular shortcut and you want to go to, to see that shortcuts you have to just press control shift l so it will give you the list of shortcuts next is the uh, alt plus arrow keys to move up and down the selected line i feel this is very interesting feature like suppose i want to bring this constructor to down or i want to move up little bit so i have to select that entire block and then afterwards hold the alt key and press arrow keys you can move anywhere wherever you want to move like suppose i want to keep uh, just uh, above the our fields or just below the fields i think this is a nice place for me so i will keep it here only so you can use this particular alt plus arrow keys to move your block up and down then next is the java docs if you want to create the java docs uh, if you want to create the java docs at the class level you have to come to that class level and press the alt shift j so this will create the java docs for you and if you want to create it at the method level you have to press control shift a with with the method so it will create it for method so say suppose i want to write some description that this method is used to uh, assign the name and the age of the person age of the person as face of the person okay and if i want to say make this particular line play assign to assign a name and age of a person so i want to keep the name and the age as bold so you can use the html tag so i will just press the put the html tag b and if you want to complete it because b is basically the not the empty tag it is a container tag so if you want to close it you can use the shortcut hold down the control p and press space bar so you will see slash uh, b is being appended so it will automatically convert this particular empty tag into the container tag so and suppose i want to make person word as an italic so i will just put the i and i will hold down the control key and press space bar so this will end this for me so i will put it the here and if you want to put the author you can use the say some keywords authors and they with at the red symbol so this is how you can create the more professional java docs so how it will look like say if you hover to the person you can see over here the java docs will look like this to assign the name and the age of the person so name and age is in now bold and person is in the italic and it will show you the author name also and you can put the details about the param say parameters say it will require the name so you can put the further details say name as the as string so you can put say name as string and age of person as integer as int you can put the details like this so it will be easy for the end user whoever wants to use your apis that will be for him or her it will be very easy so it will everything will be visible hope you will find this video useful enough please subscribe to this channel to see the such more videos and hit the bell button so that you will get the notification so so this is also uh, this is what i have for this particular video so see you in the next video thanks bye